Automakers are working persistently on the car of tomorrow's. That is going to be autonomous, driverless and filled with smart applications. Would you like to know more about those smart applications that will make our car journeys more secure and more pleasant? How about the first ever holographic navigation system? Philippe, uh, Wayray has created a very unique technology, which is a holographic true augmented reality navigation system. What is new upcoming in this technology compared to the existing uh, windshield display that is installed in some cars today? You know, if I take the current windshield display or head-up display, we have identified three uh, disadvantages. First, the display is very small. Second, you see the information very close from you, so you need to refocus your sight from seeing the display to seeing the road from short distance to long distance. On the third, it needs a very big projector, which is very difficult to integrate into the cockpit. So Wayray, at Wayray, we have solved those three problems. We have a large display. Uh, we have the information can be seen at any distance. Uh, one meter away from you, 10 meters, 30 meters, infinite. On third, the uh, projector is very small, so it can be integrated easily into the cockpit. So do you have a patent and do you have any competitors in this particular No, we have a number of patents. We protect our trademark, of course. We can also add some trade secret if it is not possible to protect well with patents. Regarding competitors, it depends how you define the market. If you define it very broadly, like any product that enhance driving safety, so of course we have competitors. If you define the market more strictly, like a true uh, augmented reality head-up display, so in this case, uh, we don't see any competitor. One of the reasons is that we have a very different approach. Uh, most, um, basically, our competitors focus on a smart projector, and this has a lot of technical limitation. And in our case, we also focus on a smart windshield, a smart glass, and, and this uh, provides us a lot of advantages. As now the industry, the automakers are moving towards a autonomous car, uh, towards driverless car, how Wayray will evolve these holographic solutions? Basically, our solution uh, provides very useful information for the driver for safety, basic information for safety. It also provides a lot of infotainment for the passengers. And then we are convinced that for the driverless car, when there will be no drivers, every user of the cars will need information around them. I will have like a display on my windshield, right, of different kind of applications I can play with, I can manipulate. Um, will Wayray be developing those applications? We will develop some application. We have, the, 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 of course, the technology, the hardware uh, and so on. We also have developed a SDK, a software developer kit, which is a sort of platform. And we invite third party developers to develop their own application over our platform. And we actually encourage it. We are organizing a challenge and a hackathon, and we have hundreds of participants from, uh, on a world, from, from, from all over the world. We have a very prestigious jury from the, the, the best university of the world, from Porsche, from Roland Berger. Uh, we also have 160,000 uh, US dollars of uh, money prize. So this uh, hackathon, hackathon. Um, is going to happen in the US. Right? Yes. It's like a big contest. Yes, correct. Sounds, sounds very This exciting. is the, the final part of the competition. So, in fact, for the cars, there are different cars. There are uh, sports cars, there are regular cars. Uh, will display this holographic system be different from sports car to um, regular car? Yes, the, the, the user interface will uh, be different for every uh, car uh, because the user interface is very important on every uh, car, on every model wants to have a different user interface. How and when can I use for my car this holographic navigation system? Okay, we have a solution for the existing car that we call an add-on solution. On, on the, it is called Navion, and it will be in the market probably uh, next year, mostly in the USA and China. In addition, we are working with more than 20 car manufacturers, very big uh, companies, 
and we are developing system for the new cars, which will be embedded. And then for those systems, we need to wait a, a little bit more because we are part of a, of a very big industrial processes and we cannot uh, define ourselves the speed of progress. So you need a number of years? For the embedded solution in new cars, yes. So when, it, so we're speaking about two years, five years, 10 years? Depending on the model. For some, it will be maybe uh, two, three years. For others, it will be more than that. Thank you, Philippe. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this interview with Philippe Monnier in partnership with Duke and Scopy TV. And stay tuned for our next episode, Inside Tomorrow's with Yelena.